Hey everyone, welcome to Hill House Diaries. Today I'm gonna to talk you through how I created this beautiful fluted coffee table. Here's what I started with. Four 11 inch two by fours, four 13 inch two by fours, two 36 inch pre-cut rounds that I grabbed from Lowe's, and a handful of quarter inch dowels, but I'm gonna tell you right now, do not use quarter inch dowels. I'll talk a little bit more about that later, but I'm just telling you right off the bat, they are not gonna be sturdy enough. So I went ahead and got started cutting my two by fours. Again, you're gonna need four that are cut at 11 inches and four that are cut at 13 inches. These are gonna be put together to create a box that is going to be used as the supports in the middle of your coffee table. So I actually use scrap wood two by fours because these are again used as supports in the center of your coffee table so they're not gonna be seen. So next what you're gonna do is you're gonna use two and a half inch screws and you are going to form boxes that are 16 by 11. You can pre-drill these if you want. I actually ended up splitting the wood on the bottom of this one as you can see. But again, they're just my supports so they're not gonna be seen. So I ended up using these L brackets that I will link for you in the description to connect the boxes inside of the rounds. The boxes don't have to be perfectly placed, they just really need the weight to be evenly distributed. So next you can go ahead and attach the top using the same L brackets, but you want to make sure that you use your level to make sure it's even with the bottom. The two rounds have to be lined up with each other or you are gonna get a really wonky coffee table. So this is where I attempted to start with the quarter inch dowels. I was planning on just using wood glue and making sure that they have a tight fit, I soon realized that these were just not going to be sturdy enough. I have three little kids and they just popped out way too easy. This is where I quickly realized that I'm gonna have to use half inch dowels instead. I'm gonna give you one really big tip. I started by trying to batch cut the dowels and it did not work because they have to be exactly the right measurement. If they are a 16th of an inch off, they're not gonna fit right. So that is correct. I cut every single dowel one by one. I wanna pause for a second to show you why you need to make sure you're wiping up the wood glue really well. This right here is what wood glue looks like when it's dried. The problem is that if you're planning to stain this coffee table, wood glue doesn't stain. I have a plan for this, but I just want you to be aware that you will want to wipe up as much of the wood glue as you can. Okay, back to the dowels. So for every single dowel, I would dry fit it and then put a little bit of wood glue on the top, a little bit of wood glue on the bottom, and make sure it's a really snug fit so it's not gonna slip out. I thought about using some type of support on the inside or brad nailer to attach them, but trust me when I say, if your dowels are a snug fit, they aren't going to pop out. All right, all right, we have a coffee table. Now it's time to cover this thing in pre-stain and then wait and wait and wait for it to dry. I decided to use Early American for my stain color of choice and I absolutely love how this turned out. So what do you think? Don't forget to like and subscribe for more DIY content.